my god, blah, 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 blah. Yes, I'm in the dark. I'm in the dark. I don't really want to drive like this. I'm in the dark. Um, thank you, Recovery Warriors. Thank you for going over to uh, Tetherbug. She so needs our support. Okay? Um, this girl is hurting. This girl, and it doesn't have to be this hurtful. It, it just... I totally get it. She's just thinking a thousand things at once and she's scared and anxious and it's awful and she needs, I think she needs to call her doctor. At least, I don't know, get back on the Suboxone, a tiny piece where you were already on it and subscribed, prescribed it. I don't know. I can't really give advice. I'm just thinking if that were my child. God, that pain, that pain is, uh, uh, I've seen a lot of people go through it, and there's no need to make anyone suffer like this, regardless, regardless of their background, their criminal history, their drug addiction, I'm sorry, nobody deserves this, you see me now, I'm driving, um, water, Yes, I'm your victim. Remember me? Thanks, by the way, for not bringing up my name for the past one day, maybe, one and a half days. Why don't you just knock it off? Just knock the shit off, okay? When I see people like this who are struggling, who are in pain, who have real dialogue, it just makes you look worse, okay? Because this is what life is about. Where people are suffering and reaching out. And all you do is use your platform for the suedo. It's not my fault. This, you know, all of a sudden you're calm. It's like, it's so scripted. It's pathetic. It's scripted. And your supporters, anyone who supports a woman who says suck her clit, excuse me, you're vile. You are vile. Your kids are around you. You smoke in the house. You just put your kids first before this social media platform that you think you're just, you know, clean of of YouTube. You got an excuse for everything, everything, every single thing. Even if you farted, you would have an excuse for that. Not me, not me, not me. Pink did it. Pink, pink, pink. Pink farted. Seriously, you are getting so old so fast, and I'm sure most of your viewers are there to see you make a fool out of yourself. Just shut up, all right? Just shut up, all right? You need class, you need some integrity. Think about all, you know, why is it okay for you to spew out hate and bullying and false lies and all this for everyone else but for you and you've done it for a long time it's okay for you and now you're talking up there tonight like oh I didn't do I've done nothing wrong and I got the most beautiful email and blah 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 good Put a star. Here's a star for your forehead. All right. Here's a sticker. All right. Slap it on your forehead. Maybe slap a little harder. And maybe it will knock some fucking sense into you. Seriously. You need just to, like, what's really bad is, like, you come up on my recommendations once in a while. And I'm like, what the hell? I blocked you from, like, friggin'. March 17th when you set me up unknowingly to me on your live because you told me the day before that you made so much money now with Molly in there and Barbie. You said it, Laura. 
the day before when I called you to see what time your live was because I didn't want to interfere with it because I was going to do my St. Patrick's live. And you were like, I'm going to quit my job. And I'm like, don't do that. I made $1,200 last night between Iman and Bobby. And I got Marissa, you know, uh, Marissa coming up on my platform. There you go, folks. There you go. She actually thought Imard and Barbie could support her. And knowing that she was putting, you know, bringing Molly on her platform to befriend her now. And be like this mediator between her and I, which I don't need a mediator. I don't need to go on a platform to speak to Marissa. All right, I have hands, I have a phone, I have email, I have her number. I don't need you or any platform or any boit, bull crap to talk to someone and just agree for the sake of agreeing and not truly working out differences because that's what you cannot do. It's all about, well, let's just forgive and make up, which you can't even bring that to your head but it's about really working out and I will say that despite yesterday Stephanie's live there's still a lot of people who feel hurt that they feel Marissa should acknowledge if they felt they were hurt by her there's still a lot of work to be done but at least we're doing it we're doing it and you stand alone the cheese stands alone with all your supporters who just love a woman that has a mouth like a truck driver who doesn't pay much attention to her children when they ask to eat and you send off your son to have sage cook him chicken or chicken nuggets or whatever you lost your dog and didn't even know he was outside oh my god you gotta get off you gotta like cut down like on your phone or on your computer, darling, there's a YouTube reminder, like time reminder. So in other words, after two hours, it might pop up and say, hey, take a break. It's a YouTube break reminder. Take advantage of it. Spend these time, more time with your children. I'm not saying you're a bad mother, but children crave their parents' time and attention. You can never give too much time to your children. Never. Just as we give limits to our children on Facebook or social media or video games, um, some adults need that also. So anyway, thank you to my recovery warriors for reaching out to Heather. 357 or 257 people are just too busy tonight to reach out to her because they're in a shit show with bullying and she said that I said I'm perfect I I didn't and I don't care if you don't care then stop doing it if you don't care I'm at the wrong gas station if you don't care then why are you there Why are you there talking? I don't care. I'm not bothered. Then why are you doing this? If you have, why are you doing this? I don't get it. You contradict yourself over and over and over. And listen, if you stop, no one's going to be upset. They'll actually be proud of you and actually give you credit for something finally. Just get off of the topic and move on and stop saying, well, you guys don't leave me alone. If that's how you feel, I get it. I get it. But that doesn't mean you have to go back and forth. Be the better person. You know how that goes. Just ignore it. Go on. Do your your crime channel has suffered. But we all know that you're getting more views, more donations. You know, with the drama. And you still got one tie left to Barbie, hoping that she'll just come up with the dough so you can quit your part-time job, you told me it was. Whatever. 
don't quit. Don't quit your job. Don't do that to your kids. And I told you that before. Don't. Do not quit your day job for YouTube. I mean, for what? 7,000 subscribers or 10,000? Are you? That's combined. Sorry. I didn't know we could combine. If we could combine, then let's we'll see between my recovery channel and my pink channel. No, it doesn't work that way. But maybe if you had millions of subscribers, you could quit your day job. But don't do it. I know you don't like your job. You've told me. And I always tell people, if you don't like your job, look for another job. Do something you at least like. You don't have to love it, but liking it would be great, you know, because how miserable to be at a job that you don't like. It's a big world out there. It's a big, big world out there. I'm sure there's a job out for you out there. Just be careful with your mouth. If you're doing IT support, oh, my God, I don't know how, like, I don't know if your calls are being monitored for quality support, but, uh, you know, watch the mouth. It's really fine. And you have a daughter, all right? Do you think your daughter wants to hear your her mommy saying, you know, to go suck Molly's, see, the other C word? It's disgusting. As a woman, come on. We need to empower each other, Laura. Come on. We need to empower each other, not dismantle, not disable each other. You've got a daughter that, you know, a beautiful daughter. You want her to grow up strong. And you keep leaving your thumbprint on all these horrible videos. And your daughter's going to get older and her friends are going to, you know, your name is out there. Her friends are going to look it up one day. I guarantee you it. I guarantee you. Little girls talk. Teenagers talk, 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 talk. And once they get hooked into YouTube, there you'll be. And what is your daughter going to do? Well, your sons. It's going to be horrible. But your daughter, she deserves better. Not you as a mom. She deserves not going out on social media and seeing her mom's thumbprint out there everywhere. With the F-bombs. Seeing the C word. Both C words. That's not what women stand for. Mm -mm. Bye, everyone.